hello everyone in this video we will be seeing some of the commonly used symbols in carnatic music reading to start with we will see some of the familiar symbols we know already so we have seen this in detail what are lagu dritam and anudritam in talam theory series so lagu is denoted by one dritam which is a tap and flip that is denoted by zero and anudritam is a half circle or a u alphabet u it is just a tap these are the parts of a talam so the next is going to be a bar and a double bar so a bar will separate the tala angas and double bar will denote the end of a talam if you take adi talam lagu dritam dritam sarigama lagu pada dritam nisa next dritam and then the avartam is over so these are separated these tala angas are separated by the bar lines so double bar for the end of the avartam and single line for separating the parts of a talam the next category is stais so how a dot or two dots are used to denote a stai so there are five kinds of stai madhya stai that is the middle range in which we are singing mm sa sa ri ga ma pa da ni so this is madhya stai sa with a dot above so all the notes following that will be tara stai that is the upper stai sa ri ga ma that becomes tara stai now ati tara stai or mostly for instruments that is going to be with two dots above a note next will be mandra stai mandra stai is one dot below the note mm sa ni ni da pa those are mandra stai and the ones with two dots below are anu mandra stai that are even more lower than a human voice can reach so anu mandra stai and ati tara stai are two dots below and above respectively and those are really for instruments but the other mandra stai madhya stai and tara stai is or very well reachable by human voice the next symbol is a comma so how a comma is used to extend a note or sustaining a note for a longer time so a note is one beat or one akshara kala if there is a comma after a note then that note should be sung for two beats sa if there are two commas add one more so three beats sa to make it comfortable for reading and writing two commas can be replaced by a semicolon now let's see how to symbolically represent speeds now each note is a beat if nothing is mentioned now there are eight notes so each beat is a count so eight counts or eight beats now if i have a dash or a line above these eight notes then each note is half a count so that is second speed so sa ri ga ma pa ma ga ri if two lines above quarter the count third speed sa ri ga ma pa ma ga ri eight notes are sung in two beats the next will be usage of hyphens let's sing the example ga pa ga ga ri sa ri ga ri ri sa da sa ri ga ri ga pa ga pa da pa da sa da da pa ga da pa ga ri so you can see how i phrased the notes according to the presence of hyphens if they are used in sahityam then it is the mentioning of long vowel mm ni ki la lo ka na ya ka so when used in swaram it is for phrasing when used in sahityam it is for long vowels or extension of the vowels 
the next is the usage of subscript or suffixes these are really familiar to us because we have seen them in talam theory series and also in the swaram theory series so i will mention the links in the description to say in few words the suffix in lagu is the kind of jati and the suffix in swaras are lower or higher frequencies of the swaras the next symbol is the symbol for anya swaram or foreign note the symbol asterisk in the example watch the sound of da2 and da1 mm. sa ga ri ga ma pa da ni sa sa ni da pa ma ga ri sa so da2 is a anya swaram here the raga bhairavi is a janya from the 20th mela nata bhairavi so nata bhairavi has da1 it doesn't have da2 but this raga which is a janya of nata bhairavi is exhibiting da2 as a foreign note so in these cases asterisk is used to denote that it is an accidental note or a foreign note the next and the final symbol is tilde used for kampita gamaka there are different types of gamakas as you may know spuritam is the jante or the accent that we give the stress that we give on a repeated note sa sa ri ri ga ga da to you know that is a skip ahatam is the repetition of a note and leading to the next note so sa ri ri ga ga ma so that is ahatam kampitam means an oscillation or a shake that we give on a note sa ri ga ma pa da shankara varanam did you notice the oscillation of ma ma pa ma pa ma pa ma that is the kampita gamaka so if you have a tilde symbol over a note then you will have to shake the note with a gamaka and that's it for the video i hope you found this useful so like share and subscribe happy practicing